How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. Today we're making red matrix cubes and we're going to be doing some x-ray cracking as well. If you want to skip to that part there's a timestamp in the description and on the play bar uh, but there's a few things we need to do before we can actually uh, start building all the things we need from. There's a few items that we need to just be crafting automatically. It's going to make our life a lot easier. First things we're making here are actually prisms and stone. This is not super efficient. I just wanted to automatically make them make so whenever I need them I can just come over here pick them up and just not think about it and well not well it's really lazy but not put too much effort into it next we're making energetic graphite and I uh, want to say thank you to Ghost Slayer for commenting um, because I didn't know you could use energetic graphite for uh, fuel and it's so much better than coal so that's why I'm doing this I'm literally just getting a stockpile of uh, the graphite going to use for fuel so thank you so much uh, ghost slayer for that and actually thank you so much everyone for uh, all the all the comments and everything on the new videos and uh, all the new subscribers it's been absolutely fantastic and i'm glad you are enjoying dyson sphere program as much as i am so i've just placed down two new miners on a new iron deposit because we're going to need a lot of iron and the <laughs> the deposit we've already got is is not supplying enough iron for the starter base so we needed to get a new one going looking back at this and I, I have watched this um, already it's not a very good layout uh, but we'll, it works and it, it does everything we need it to do but I would change so much about it uh, like looking back at it saying that though um, I probably won't change it for a while because there's so much to do um, so we're making steel and electric motors the steel takes three iron ingots for every one steel which is quite a lot I've only used one smelter here because um, I'm not too fussed about the rate at which we're making steel and I think the iron ore that we're going to be like uh, like mining can be used for other stuff uh, as well I don't want to like pack too much onto this belt so we're moving on to making the electric motors now and I think these are the most expensive I don't know the right word they take the most things to make so we need um, magnetic coils we need gears and I think we need iron ingots as well um, I just moved the steel over just a little bit because I thought why am I gonna put it in uh, that little alcove bit there I could when I can just put it right next to the uh, the iron belt uh, but anyway we've got the first assembler which is gonna make the electric motors down and then we're just making um, one smelter to supply that with iron ingots and then we're making another smelter to supply another assembler that are going to make gears and that's going to supply uh, the first assembler I was going to make the magnetic coils fresh so I started bringing the copper ingots over um, initially but then I thought well we're already making cop uh, magnetic coils so I'll just bring those over and if it messes up the starter factory then we can change it but for now the magnetic coils are coming over from our first initial um, like manufacture of them and I don't think it messes it up too much mainly because the blue matrices are backed up uh, so that is electric motors prisms steel graphite and stone bricks being made and uh, we're gonna move on to the red matrix manufacture right now so the two things we need to make the red matrices are hydrogen and energetic graphite uh, for that we need oil and coal first of all we're going to be making the hydrogen um, so we've got an oil seep over here and we've just whacked down four oil refineries now this is a super simple setup uh, mainly because we need to get a few well we need to get 400 red matrices to unlock x-ray cracking and we'll be doing that in a couple of minutes uh, but this is just a super simple setup and this is more than well this is more than enough to supply uh, the demand of the red matrix labs so we need basically two graphite and two hydrogen every six seconds so a tower of three um, would need six every six seconds so it's one a second if we have four of those uh, four of those refineries then that's going to produce one hydrogen every second the only issue with this is we need a, like a better supply of crude oil now the oil seep we were using there was 1.81 and that is not enough we need an oil seep of two at least two uh, per second 
Um, moving on to the energetic graphite. This again is just really simple. Just two miners with six smelters. I am using um, Mark II uh, sorters this time though, just to make sure the material gets into the machine uh, quick enough. And I think six smelters like this will supply um, actually 18 towers of three. No, hang on, 18 matrix labs. So six towers of three, that's what it is. I think anyway. Um, so that is more than enough graphite and with the x-ray cracking we're actually going to be making more graphite uh, so we're gonna have so much graphite I don't know what to do with it so we're just gonna route that graphite over to the matrix labs and this is all a temporary setup when we set up x-ray cracking we're actually gonna change a lot of this around now with the oil refineries they make hydrogen but they also make um, they also make refined oil as well uh, so we need to use that for something because if we just leave it in the machine the the refineries will just uh, stop working so we need to use it for something and a good use of it is actually just to put it in these uh, power generators I don't know the exact name for them I'm not, I'm not gonna lie um, so just set up a little small power grid there uh, just to supplement our all existing power supply and use up that refined oil and there we go we've got our first red cubes so let's move on to x-ray cracking Okay, so we've got our first refinery set up. This is just a temporary solution. We're gonna be doing X-ray cracking because X-ray cracking allows us to get the same amount of hydrogen out, but use less oil. Uh, so each of these refineries doing the, um, the plasma refining takes 0.5 crude oil per second. We've got four of them, so that means we would need two crude oil per second. However, with X-ray cracking, we're only gonna need three refineries taking crude oil so that brings that down to 1.5 per second that we need so the benefit of uh, x-ray cracking at the moment is you get the same amount of hydrogen but you can use less oil so let's go up here we've got a couple of oil seeps uh, over this way uh, over this way that we're going to use uh, for the x-ray cracking we are going to link them all up in the end i'll probably move that refinery over here uh, just so they're all in the same place but for now we're gonna set up our x-ray cracking uh, right so let's get a miner down you can see this one is actually 1.57 uh, this one's 1.33 so I'm just gonna use this one for now however we are like I said we are gonna link them all up so I'm gonna bring the I'm gonna bring that oil seep a conveyor belt down here into this tank as well and then have like a conveyor belt just outputting them. So uh, let's get that built. Um, I'm just gonna use this one for now, just so you can see a 1.571 will work. And I haven't really thought of a layout, I'm not gonna lie. I just know I wanted it in this area. So I guess let's start with, uh, let's start with one of these, just a, a long stretch of conveyor belt. You know what guys let's wing it we'll make it work right <laughs> we'll make it work so we need uh, just one oil refinery doing just normal plasma refining so that makes the one hydrogen and two refined oil out of the two crude oil we are going to feed the hydrogen and the crude oil back into another refinery uh, not from that one but from these two here so let's do that one there this one's going to be x-ray cracking so I'm going to turn it around and this one is going to be uh, just normal plasma refining as well hopefully like I said this is going to be pretty easy to follow pretty easy to replicate as well it's probably not the best layout but uh, we'll make it work we'll make it work right so let's get um, some mark one sorters we only need mark one on those so that's going to be the oil going in this one is going to be normal like just a just a standard standard layout so let's take that down there and that down there so this one's going to be hydrogen let's get hydrogen on there and the crude oil on there that's just going to output those now this is where things are going to get a bit tricky so this one is going to produce uh, two crude oil and one hydrogen so we definitely want hydrogen to go into there uh, it's 
good enough a speed of 0.5 on the salter good enough possibly let me ever think um, yeah it should be because every four seconds it's gonna be yeah yeah that'll be fine so it'll take like two seconds to do like a whole trip I think I think anyway I'm pretty sure that's fine <laughs> we do need to bring crude oil over as well so we'll bring it from this one again I think 0.5 should be good enough and then we need to output crude oil from this one and the crude oil is going to go onto that right so have they all got a filter yes they have so that is the basic layout for that and um, we do need to get the high uh, the hydrogen and the x-ray I was going to say the x-rays out you can't collect x-rays can you <laughs> can't collect x-rays what am I talking about uh, I'm actually gonna bring those up actually so let's go like this bring it up one level and connect them up like that and then this is gonna go down here okay and then we'll bring the hydrogen yep that's right nope we need to we need to take that back one more you know what let's do that let's do the hydrogen line first so hydrogen is going to come out of here and luckily that just fits on like there so that's good uh, so yeah we're going to be making three every four seconds so i guess a 1.5 one will be fine uh, so hydrogen is going to come out of there and then graphite will come out of this one here so there we go I think that's gonna be fine uh, so let's get these uh, back up and running and that's gonna just be crude oil isn't it and then we can run actually that down just run that down like that can't we okay so let's get some power over here get this kicked off and see, <laughs> see if it actually works so yeah we'll put one there one there and we're gonna, gonna need another another couple on the other side i've run out of items so i just, I just use a wind, a wind turbine for now oh actually i probably need to you know what i've got 15 wind turbines i might as well just use them up uh this wind turbine farm over here is ridiculous so i'm going to change it we're going to be doing like some good stuff all right place those too far away from each other uh, no I didn't there we go right power is on so these should be working oh I just don't have one over at here do I right hopefully this doesn't all clog up see so yeah, what I'm gonna actually do is run these conveyor belts pretty much all the way down here and we could probably turn a corner at some point but for now we'll keep it like that in fact we are going to probably have to turn a corner right so we've got our first bit of hydrogen and crude oil coming out have i got that in the right area why is hydrogen oh hang on why is hydrogen coming out on that one We're gonna have to spin those around, aren't we? Let's uh, quickly sort that out. So hydrogen and crude oil. I, th I think that's gonna be good enough to get the crude oil, out, crude oil out. If not, we can use a Mark II sorter. So that goes should go down to zero every time. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Right. So we've got oh, we've actually got some X-ray cracking going on as well. We've got graphite coming out. I do need to pick up this oil here. And we'll get the. Oh, what am I doing? We'll get the hydrogen off that one. Okay, so we've now got crude oil, graphite, and hydrogen. Nice. So I'm going to repeat this a couple times, and then we'll connect up the other. 
uh, the other crude oil seeps and well we'll hopefully have a have a good production of um uh, red red matrices by the end of it Okay, that took so much longer than I thought. We um, placed down quite a few uh, refineries and we've run into a slight issue. So the problem we have is, I've just built it wrong. <laughs> this we, we can fix it though, we can fix it. I've missed out one conveyor belt. Basically, this is filling up with refined oil and that's causing everything to be like backed up. And the reason for that is we're not getting the refined oil out of this machine quick enough. Basically, this one is producing two refined oil every time. This one is only using one of them. So we just need to get another one out of here. So I'm actually just going to put a conveyor belt down, connect it up to there like that. And well, just get the get the uh, the last bit of refined oil out. So this I'm going to have to redo these. This one's going to be uh, hydrogen. This one's going to be refined oil. And then this one's going to be um, refined oil as well, and that is that is that. Now I'm just going to repeat that down these uh, down on this one. So that was the original four we just built, and these are the new ones starting from here. So we have to go to the fourth one along. As you can see, it just it stops start all the time. So I'm going to get a belt like that. I think I can just do it from there today yeah, I thought I was gonna have to sort out sort out the sorters but it's fine we made it work and we're doing the last one as well I've done a lot of rearranging as well of the whole system as you can probably see and we're gonna go through it just now because uh, I didn't actually explain how it worked just so we've got our crude oil we've got crude oil coming from over there that was where the four original machines were uh, like I said, it just did a little bit of rearranging. So uh, we've got crude oil coming down down this conveyor belt here. It's gone dark, so you can't really see the crude oil on there, but it's on there, I guarantee you. Uh, it comes down here, goes into this tank, which is actually filling up um, with, crude, uh, with crude oil. Oh, we're doing re a lot of research as well with our red, red matrices. Uh, we've got these two crude oil... Uh, these two crude oil extractors as well now we've got they they all output at a different rate however uh, they add up to more than 4.5 a second crude oil which is what we need because each each of these like modules so one two three four each of these modules takes 1.5 crude oil and well we're getting over 4.5 so one module two module three module quick maths 4.5 <laughs> I, I always I'm saying this and I feel like such a nerd but it's just so much it's, it's so addictive do you know what I mean anyway uh, how does this actually work so the first oil refinery takes in crude oil and just outputs one hydrogen and two crude oil uh, two refined oil onto this belt here that is literally just the first one now the second one uh, supplies one hydrogen to the x-ray cracking and it outputs two crude oil onto this belt the third one does the x-ray cracking the fourth one does uh, well it outputs one hydrogen into the x-ray cracking one refined oil into the x-ray cracking and one refined oil onto the belt and down down there so that is how that works out and like I said I've repeated it three times and uh, one lot of these modules I'm gonna call them call them a module but it's probably not the right word for it <laughs> uh, one of these uh, one set of four will supply a one tower of three matrix labs so we because we got three we've been able to uh, get three going which is really good I thought we were only gonna get um, two but nope we we got three which is uh, absolutely fantastic the uh, graphite that comes out I should say this each of the x-ray kraken outputs one hydrogen onto the first belt and no they output three hydrogen onto the first belt and one energetic graphite onto the second belt and then the crude oil just goes onto the third belt and down over that way into our uh, power machines power stations 
Uh, this graphite comes down here and gets collected into these. Anything extra is going to go onto this belt and supplement this. However, this over here um, should supply enough for all of that and maybe a little bit extra. Uh, so we could probably do some more more towers, but I don't know. We might run out. Um, the hydrogen comes down here into this tank and then just gets output whacked into these uh, red matrix lab tower thingies and uh, well the rest is history as they say the red cubes go go off over over there to our main starter base and um, it's a good idea to put tanks and stuff before um, you like you input them into a machine just so the production can like continue and they this will fill up it acts like it as a buffer zone uh, so yeah let's follow um, let's follow the red cubes down and we'll see them oh, I've run out of power of course I have uh, energetic graphite put that in there it's probably the best fuel at the moment well it is the best fuel we've got at the moment I keep running out of power uh, we'll just walk <laughs> if we take a nice scenic walk so yeah we're going over this way and then I've moved the research labs just into the middle here again I think this is probably just going to be temporary uh, the blue and the red cubes coming in though looks pretty sweet so I'm very happy with that um, I think the last thing to do is just check the stats see how many we're making so we're making more than enough energetic graphite I think we needed well we needed 180 every minute uh, because we make because we got three towers we're making 90 every minute and they take two hydrogen and two energetic graphite so we need 180 which we're making we're making over that and then the hydrogen i think might be pretty close oh no that's way over as well i mean that's good i'm uh, <laughs> i'm very pleased with that uh so yeah that is it guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video remember to press the like button the youtube algorithm really appreciates it <laughs> if you press the like button if you do enjoy factory building and management games be sure to subscribe and uh, any questions suggestions or comments leave them down in the comment section below uh, i also live stream on twitch link to my channel is in the description but as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.